morning, YouTube. Matt and Roy back again. This is Thursday, August 11th of 2016, and I'm back to you with another vlog video. Um, Want to go over a few things before we get to the main part of the vlog. Um, I've been getting a lot of questions from you guys about the um, Windows 10 anniversary upgrade. Basically, for those of you that don't know, Windows 10 became a year old about a week ago now. And um, because it's a year old, they supposedly are not offering the uh, free Windows upgrade anymore from Windows 7, 8, or 8.1. And uh, that's simply not true. I want to go ahead and tell you guys that if you're still interested in upgrading to Windows 10 for free, you can do it. And here's how I've been doing it. First, you have a computer that has a legitimate Windows 7, Windows 8, or Windows 8.1 product key. Doesn't matter. Any one of them will work. What you do, um, there's a couple ways to do it. Basically, what I recommend doing is go ahead and do a clean install of Windows 7, 8, or 8.1. Don't try to upgrade from Windows 10 directly. You need to go ahead and reinstall Windows, uh, the Windows that's currently on your computer. Go ahead and put the product key in and activate it. Once you have that new install of your current operating system with an activated product key, then all you have to do is one of two things you can either get the you get you have to get the windows 10 image file you can get that from uh, a torrent you can get it from somebody who has it there are many many ways to get it um, mine i actually wound up just getting from uh, microsoft when they were offering it free but now i think you actually have to go through like a torrent or just ask a friend a lot of your friends probably will have copies of it and the cool thing about windows 10 um, usually the pro and the home version come on one cd and it will automatically install whichever version you have so basically what you do at this point, you go ahead and put your Windows 10 disk or you put your USB flash drive, which, whichever one you decide to use, in the computer and um, you go ahead and start the upgrade process. Now you have to do this from within your current operating system. Um, you just follow the instructions, let Windows 10 install, and once it installs, Windows 10 will be activated because it's going to piggyback off that old Windows 7 um, and Windows 8 and 8.1 um, product key. Uh, the reason this works is a little something called uh, Microsoft Accessibility. Uh, for people that have uh, disabilities, whether it be uh, mental, physical, uh, basically handicapped, they're allowing um, them to go ahead and upgrade to Windows uh, 10. So that's basically what the loophole is, and there are a lot of people that are still doing it. Now, eventually, I'm pretty sure Microsoft's going to go ahead and figure this out and disable that function. But for now, this does work. And I know for a fact it works because last night I just finished that Dell uh, Latitude E5500 and I did the same thing with that. So, once again, for those of you that still want to try Windows 10 and install it, um, go ahead and try that and it should work just fine. Again, I don't know for how long. It just depends on how long uh, Microsoft uh, decides to keep it going. Well, since this is Thursday, I got the uh, Aldi's flyer in yesterday. I want to go ahead and show you guys some of the good deals they have this week. And they do have some interesting items, so I'll be back with that in All just right, guys, a minute. So here is my local Aldi's flyer. Now, granted, um, yours may differ, but this is what is for sale in my area. Um, basically, we'll go ahead and start with the produce here. Got navel oranges on special, three pound bag for $1.69. And I did buy these last week, and they are decent. Even though technically oranges are out of season right now, these are still very, very good quality, so I would highly recommend that. Uh, blueberries went up this week. Uh, they were at 99 cents for a pint last week. They're up to $1.29. But again, still a very good deal. Generally, um, at least stores around here, a uh, pint of blueberries will set you back about $3, so this is still less than half. I must say I was not impressed with the last two cantaloupes we got. They were um, very underripe, and they were kind of tasteless, so I would stay away from their cantaloupes, but most of this other stuff is pretty good. Uh, cucumbers, mini cucumbers, uh, 99 cents for a 16-ounce package. Well, we're not going to buy those because a friend of ours who has a farm gets us pretty much as many cucumbers as we want. I kid you not, we probably have about 50 of them right now. My dad's making these cucumber salads. Um, sweet corn. This is another item they have that's actually really good, and it's already husked for you for the most part. Usually they leave like a little bit on the bottom, but, you know, it's not that big a deal just to pull that off. Um, it's $1.49 for a four-pack. Now, I will tell you these are smaller corns. Um, I would say they're about uh, 
30% smaller than what I would normally see around here, but again, still a good price and very, very nice and sweet. I think it just has to do with the variety. Uh, grape tomatoes, 99 cents a pint. Again, very good deal, but we're not going to be getting those because the same friend that gets us the cucumbers also gives us a whole bunch of tomatoes. I mean, it's pretty much as many tomatoes as we can eat. Uh, by the end of the summer, I'm usually tomatoed out, to be honest with you, but now they taste so good, the fresh farm, fresh tomatoes. Up here in the meat, $1.49 a pound for family, a fresh family pack of chicken wings. I might actually pick these up. These are really, really good um, for dinner sometimes. For those of you who don't know, chicken wings are almost, they're, even though they're technically white meat, they're almost like a hybrid. They, they are white meat, but they kind of have a little bit of a dark meat flavor, and that's what I really like. So $1.49 a pound. Definitely going to score some of those wings. And let's see, that's in a four to five pound average weight. So you figure things are probably running about six, seven bucks for that bag. Uh, six ninety nine for the boneless beef ribeye steaks. That's that's pretty pricey. I probably wouldn't bother with that. But for those of you that um, like the uh, ribeye steaks, eh, that's about what you're expected to pay, at least in our area. And looks like they have some uh, wine and spirits on sale. They have a Storm Storm Chaser Red Blend. Let's see, that's got cherries, blackberry jam. Yeah, see, this is not my favorite. This is an extremely sweet wine. I do like wet red wine, but I like more of like a, a Cabernet Sauvignon. Um, let's see, or a port. I really do like port, though. A lot of people, I think, find that a little too dry, but that is still one of my favorites. Um, beer of the Month. Kinru Blue... Belgian white ale that might actually be pretty good. That's probably a fairly mild beer um, I've never tried white ale, but I know that uh, some friends of mine really like it. They say it's fairly uh, fairly easy to drink Now see over here. We have uh, fit and active Canadian bacon a lot better for you than um, Regular pork bacon then you have turkey sausage, which I do tend to eat a lot of very low in fat but very good flavor uh, they still got the syrup on special. This syrup was excellent. When my cousins were we had pancakes, we used their syrup. I could not tell the difference between this and, like, Aunt Jemima. This I found interesting because I've eaten these before at Sonic. Uh, these are those uh, French toast sticks. It looks like it's 16 ounces in there, so I'm guessing that's probably about as many sticks. So let's count. One, two, three, four, five. Probably about six sticks, maybe a little bit more. But for $1.99, not too bad of a deal there. Got some more meat on special here. We got the uh, lunch meat. Uh, this is the Black Forest ham. I'm not a big fan of prepackaged deli meats like this. I'd rather go to a deli and have it sliced fresh for me. So I usually tend to stay away from their prepackaged stuff. But um, by no means am I saying it's not good. It's just not fresh enough. I like I like my uh, deli meats a little bit fresher. And because at least in our area, um, we live near the uh, Smithfield Foods factory, and they produce all the Gwaltney meats. So all that stuff is pretty much fresh for us. I mean, it's, the factory's literally like 30 minutes away. Um, fruit Punch. Never tried that. Uh, this looks like the um, generic, I'm trying to think of the name of that stuff, Capri Sun. The generic Capri Sun stuff. I try to stay away from that because there's just way too much sugar in that stuff for me. Uh, what do we got here? We got turkey and ham. Again, this is prepackaged stuff. I probably wouldn't buy it, but... I will say this, all of their food now is supposed to be organic and uh, grass-fed, so I can almost guarantee that it's going to be of fairly good quality. Um, nothing too much else interesting here. Ah, this is what I want to show you guys. They have some really, really cool cooking gadgets this week. Starting up here for $15, they have what I think they're trying to go for like a Vitamix-looking thing, but of course it's not Vitamix. Um, and and Biano three cup food processor you know again for one or two people I'm sure that's fine they have a uh, two slice black toaster for ten bucks this I thought was really cool this is Ambiano's double hot plate for $16.99 so for those of you that are going back to school college dorm rooms this would be perfect you know you'd be able to make yourself some breakfast in the morning provided of course the dorm room allows you to do, do cooking in it which sometimes they don't um, 
Ambiano convection countertop oven for $36.99. That's actually a decent deal for a convection oven. You can imagine these two paired together in a college dorm room. You guys would be eating good while uh, everybody else is going out and ordering pizza. Think about how much money you would save. Just basically spending 60 bucks, and you could cook in almost every night. Though, I know for, part of the fun in college is actually getting to eat out with your friends. See, we got the uh, mug rack here. That's pretty cool. I, I don't think we'd have room for that, but you know what? That might actually be good for the trailer. The only problem is you have to find some way to secure it because the mugs would probably shake off. So what I probably have to do is put little stoppers on each of the ends so the mugs would actually stay in place. I'll have to think about that for, what was that again? That was uh, six bucks. And then you just have your regular, um, basically, dish soap and all your... Um, cleaning products here. That's the word I was looking for. I uh, have not tried their um, generic paper towels. This is obviously like Bounty, but that seems to be a good deal. Eight of them for $5.99. Um, you got your dish liquid dish soap for $1.89. Looks like you got the lemon scent, and then you have just the regular antibacterial um, dishwasher pellets. This is a really good deal. Um, $2.99 for these generic Clorox wipes. These in any regular store will set you back close to $5. So about a um, little, about say 40% off the normal price. Uh, was that graphic bucket? Uh, I'm not actually sure what that. Oh, that's just like a regular bucket, I guess, for cleaning. Napkins, garbage bags, pretty much all the u the usual stuff. And then, right on the back here, we have some uh, other unique items. This is something I've never seen at Aldi before. For 200 bucks, you can get yourself a Huntington Homes Queen uh, memory foam mattress. And if, if, I'm, if I remember correctly, this actually comes in the store. It, basically what it is, is it comes in like a cube, probably no, not much bigger than this actual flyer. What you do is you actually put it on your frame, you open it up, and over a you over a period of a day, it actually folds out into a full mattress. Now, I'm not a big fan of memory foam myself. I know a lot of people, a lot of friends of mine swear by them. Got a uh, pedometer there, magnifying glass, uh, one of these uh, new style uh, blood pressure uh, wrist monitors, which is kind of a cool idea, but unfortunately my wrists are too thick to wear anything like that. <laughs> a collapsible cane, I thought that was pretty cool. The only problem I foresee with that is if you don't put that together, imagine using this and you didn't put that together right, well, you're going to take a nice fall, so maybe that isn't such a good idea. Well, that's pretty much it for the Aldi's Flyer this week. Uh, let me guys know if you enjoy this. I I'm so impressed with this store that I want to share the bargains that they have with you. And if you can, I got an idea, guys. Go ahead and uh, post your Aldi Flyer um, on my Facebook page uh, just so I can see if it di how it varies in the different regions. Be back in a little what? bit. You want to say hi? What? Yeah. Yeah, you're cute. Everybody knows you're cute. She's so funny. She, I think one of the reasons she likes beer is she likes to be near the air purifier, especially in the summer months, because she tends to have some really bad allergies like her owner. Isn't that right, sweetheart? Yeah. Do you want to rub? You are such a good girl. I tell you, she really sweetened up. I cannot believe the change in her. Even especially after even after Simon's passed on, she a little friendlier. She'll even start to come up to people, though. She'll try to attack him. What? Something that my fingers smell good? No? What? Yeah. I know you don't like me filming you at all. Cause you're a weird kitty. You're a kitty, you're a kitty, you're a kitty. You're a kitty, you're a kitty, you're a kitty. Hey, hey. You're a kitty. It is now, once again, that time in the late morning, actually almost afternoon now, quarter to 12, where I need my next pick-me-up. So let's see what I want to drink today. I think we'll go with the Javalia Majestic Roast. Love this coffee. This is so good. Bold, 100% um, Arabica, so it's got that nice kind of nutty flavor to it, almost like chock full of nuts used to. So, once again, time to brew a delicious cup of Javalia coffee. I tell you, I cannot function anymore without at least two cups of coffee. I wake up, especially on a hot day like this, where it kind of just drains your energy. You really need that caffeine to get going. 
<laughs> I almost thought I didn't buy, I'm trying to remember if I put the cup down there for a moment I thought I forgot to stick the cup underneath oh that would have been a disaster well I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy my coffee and we'll see what the rest of the day brings all right guys talk to you later I'm going in the vlog here for today I'm gonna try to do a, a Q&A sometime this week a lot of people have been requesting one I know I haven't done it in a while please remember to like and subscribe and as always have a blessed day